Hello and welcome back everybody. So today we got some uh, DIY fun and look what I made. Now you could be asking yourself what is it for? Why is he showing me this? Well, it's a really good question. So here's a little backstory. I've been looking at rock crushers, little pulverizers for a little while now and the cheapest one I could find is from Russia. Uh, and I specifically wanted one that I could use, you know, with like an angle grinder or a drill. Uh, the Russia ones are for an angle grinder. It's about $250 shipped, and you could get it off of eBay. Which I guess is not too bad. Uh, the one I found for a drill was about, I believe, like $485 on eBay. A little too much for me. And they have a couple other ones that are worth that are $500 or more. I found one hammer crusher for $60, but then you have to get a power converter or hook it up to a 220 volt outlet, which I only have two of those in my house and one's being used up by the, the washer dryer, the other one's being used up by my oven. So that wasn't going to work. So I had to buy a power converter, which is another $100, and that was still going to cost me just right around $200. So it was a little expensive. So, I came up with this idea. This is a rock crusher, pulverizer, whatever you want to call it, for my drill. And essentially what I did with it, I saw somebody built something like this. And I kind of, kind of modified it itself. So, this right here is the, I got it for about, let me see here, it's like $7. And it's a grinder wheel for concrete. All right. Uh, have to get a couple nuts to fit this. For the most part, we have these lying around. If you buy them separately, you buy you know going to a store, they could range anywhere from uh, two dollars to six dollars, something like that. But we'll leave those out of the equation itself because for the most part, a lot of people have those. Uh, so we got the grinder wheel. Got the 12 inch extension. That one, this was the most expensive part itself. This extension cost me, with shipping, taxes, everything, uh, $34.20. It's sturdy, it's heavy duty, it, it'll last for a long time. Last piece is a adapter to put on my drill. This one cost me about $15. So these two combined, about 50 bucks, which is not bad at all. Uh, lastly, I have a four inch little cover on here. Actually, not lastly, one next to last. I have a little four inch cover that I just use as kind of like a splash guard so you know rocks don't fly at me. And to do all my grinding when I'm cutting, let me get this out of the way. I just bought a little coffee canister. 60 ounces, I wanted the bigger size, a little bit over 4 inches in here. Um, I mean, if you wanted to, you could drill a hole right here. You could drill a hole right here, slide your everything through, and you don't have to worry about anything flying up at you. I didn't want to drill because if I'm out on the field and I'm using this, then I want to carry, keep the stuff in here because that's what I'm going to carry it home in. So you can see, I used it, I tested it out. Not bad at all. So. Fits nicely in there. Let me get you a better image picture. Fits pretty good in there. There's a little bit of spacing on the side, so a couple little small pieces of rock might fly out, but it's something that's not manageable. So the canister uh, was also kind of expensive, you know, stainless steel, pretty good quality cost me $15 as well. So everything's said and done. Now one, actually this itself was, if you buy it separately or if you, if you don't have one lying around, it's about 5 or $6. But you could also use a piece of cardboard and just cut it to the size of the canister. It'll do the same thing. It's really just meant to stay there and keep rocks from flying up at you. Because rocks will fly. So, 
you ask, how well does this work? Well, the only way really to tell you is to show you. So I'm going to get some get some random rocks or some stone. I have something outside. Take it, grind some over, and then I'll, I'll put it through the, a strainer or classifier. And you'll see how much powder I get out of it, you know, or, or how chunky it stays. We'll see. So let's go out there, take a look. Alright, so for today's experiment, we're going to use pyrite. Let's see how big this is. You can see nothing's really coming through. So, let's put this in a canister and crush it down a little bit. See what I can get out of it. Let me switch views. So there we have it. You know, it's not the best. Some went flying around, which is okay. But here's a leftover plus pen material, which I don't want to crush all of it because I still have some plans for it. Here's the plus 20 material. So it's still a couple nice little chunks in here. And then everything else is minus 20. But you know, it's pretty good fine powder. So as a sample crusher, if you're out in the field just to try to get quick samples, I think this is the cheapest electric crusher that you're going to get. Now, I did use a corded drill because when I'm at home, I use a corded drill. When I'm out and about, I have something else. You know, I have, I have a, what is it, it's a Craftsman 19, 19 or 18.2 volt or something like that. But it's, you know, it's a pretty good one. I don't want to. I don't want to charge it up just for if I'm not going to be using it anytime soon. So I think this came out pretty good. What do you think? And you know, for less than 75 bucks, you really can't go wrong. Because if you go on eBay, you see in manual cr crushers where you have to put in a lot of kind of a lot of work to it. They're going for I don't know 75 to 80 plus. So let me know in the comments what you think. And if you want to try one out, build one, go for it. See how well it works. And maybe I'll get some gold ore later, see 
about crushing that or bring some home and when I'm going out and prospecting because I'm hopefully going out soon. Alright, thanks for watching.